Hello my friends, it's uh, February the 7th, 2016 and uh, today I like to play a video from Nancy Leader and before I do play it, because uh, I do see in the mainstream news they are talking and saying and repeating uh, the planet takes it's going to crash with air then I like to tell you this is uh, really really not real not true but this don't mean if the planet X it's not going uh, to crash on Earth then everything is just fine now this is not not fine not at all and I will try to play video from Nancy which she is trying to describe uh, the path of planet X when it coming in the inner solar system and the effects on our planet. Of course no one can say it po for sure and absolutely exact how everything will happen. But anyway I think she is really very close to how this could happen in very near future and that's why I decide I will play this video hopefully Nancy will not apply me so my copyrights also I don't think she is like the other youtubers but uh, I think this information it's a word to see it The severe wobble that starts the last weeks is a flinging back and forth of the North Pole of Earth. This severe wobble lasts for nine days back, 12 hours later. The severe wobble, thus, will, will merely be an exaggeration of the existing wobble. Then the Earth assumes a static lean to the left for 4.5 days. Laying on her side, her magnetic north pole pushes to the west, laying her hemispheres out for an equal basking under the sun. Then the Earth gradually slings her north pole away for a 2.5 day progression toward the three days of darkness. Then rolling further into the six days of sunrise west predicted in Islam. <coughs> As Planet X continues in its retrograde orbit, its North Pole is no longer located to the left of the Earth, and the Earth adjusts by slinging its North Pole to the right. Thus, during the six days of sunrise west, the Earth has a lean to the right. Venus escapes the cup. The dark twin escapes the cup. And the dance of many becomes a deadlock grip by Planet X on the Earth. Then the Earth rights herself side by side with Planet X and begins her rotation slowdown for a period of 18 days. It is during this time that the Earth is drawn toward Planet X so that Planet X quickly increases in size in the skies and is the writhing monster of legend. The Earth moans, groans, and complains as the core pulls at the crust, but the crust is gripped increasingly and held by Planet X. The slowing is a lurching matter, too, as when the Atlantic Rift is exposed, the grip slows the rotation, but when hidden, rotation tries to return. Emergency management teams are beyond exhaustion, the government services in disarray, and travel has become almost impossible. The Earth slows in its rotation and actually stops. This is recorded in written history and spoken folklore worldwide as a long day or night. Rotation stops with the Atlantic Rift facing Planet X. Therefore, the long day described by Joshua and the long night described by the West Coast Indian. Rotation is stopped for 5.9 days. During this week, the size of the approaching Planet X horrifies those 
on the daylight side of the earth. At first a reddish blob, only a fraction of the size of the moon, it grows in size and appears to twist and turn like a dragon in the sky. The ancients recorded this as a fire dragon in the sky, as the tail of swirling moons gave this appearance. The North Pole of Planet X grabs the South Pole of Earth and tips the globe 90 degrees. After the passage, Planet X exits as quickly as it approached. The crust is dragged over minutes to a new location, along with the core. All told, the better part of an hour. Weak spots along the Earth's crustal plates give way. The Pacific Ocean will shorten and the Atlantic widen. Subducting place will subduct greatly. Mountain building will occur suddenly. Rotation restarts, at first slowly, but then picking up speed until a day on planet Earth is much as it used to be. Just as rotation stops within a day, just so rotation returns within a day, much to the relief of the frantic survivors who fear the long day or night they have been experiencing will never end. 90 degrees, catching and dragging the Earth's south pole along as it swings its north pole up on its way out of the solar system. The Earth's rotation had stopped with the Atlantic rift facing planet X in a magnetic grip. But Europe and Africa were still tugging to the east and thus the Atlantic rips apart. The former North and South Poles are now on the new equator. India has become the new South Pole. Africa tears away from the Mediterranean, tipping the Arabian plate in the process. The crashing plates compress the Pacific and force the Himalayas over India. India and Western Australia drown, as does Indonesia. An inland bay rips into the Russian lands just to the east of the Ural Mountains. After the pole shift, the Earth begins rotating again. The Americas are strung out along the new equator. The ocean off the bulge of Brazil will become the North Pole. Alaska and Siberia, formerly frozen lands, will now be tropical. Europe and Africa are likewise now mostly tropical. Antarctica will melt and become habitable. The bulge of Brazil will lie in the new polar circle, but lands along the spine of the Andes will be temperate, as will the western United States. What was formerly India will become the new South Pole, with the lands nearby suddenly plunged into polar cold. Australia and New Zealand touch the new equator. But Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran, Tibet, southern China, and Southeast Asia will freeze, as will those who drown in what was formerly India. The world's most populous nations are thus at the greatest risk. Ice will form slowly over the new poles, giving survivors a chance to escape. Hypothermia will be their greatest enemy. It's like to letting you know, be aware on the Tuesday uh, February 9th because it seems uh, NASA is going to make uh, major announcement and it's always good uh, keep eye on what they are saying I think this is uh, enough for today and uh, thank you for watching be strong be well and see you next time bye